Hey you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south, more specifically Savannah, Georgia, and even more specifically than that, Chippewa Park. Now, pay no attention to James Oglethorpe over here because he is not the reason we have visited Chippewa Park. Here at Chippewa Park, this is the home of one of the most famous and iconic scenes in cinema history. This park is where Forrest Gump sat on a bench and waited for the bus. One of my favorite movies. And there's one problem here. For whatever reason, they've built this concrete wall and you can no longer sit in a bench and wait for a bus. So they're not gonna let me sit in a bench and get that iconic feeling that I am Forrest Gump. So I am going to have to take things into my own hands here. Follow me. Alright, I've returned. Me and Annabelle have brought along our own benches. We are going to go and sit and wait for the bus. Alright Anna, you ready? Alright. Yes. Me and Anna are now sitting exactly where Fur Forrest Gump sat waiting for the bus as they show and he talked to different strangers and talked about his life. And what did we bring along Annabelle? We brought chocolates. A box of chocolates. And do you know why we brought a box of chocolates Annabelle? Because life is a box of chocolates and you never know what you're going to get. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. So what do we have? Uh, chocolate. What, what kind of chocolates are there? Uh, Give me one. Okay. Ooh, I want that cluster. No, I want that one. Okay. All right. Take one. Here's one. Let's see. I want to eat one. Let's this go. one's like a little cupcake. You got a little cupcake? A little lunch cupcake. So cute. By the way, Annabelle, those look like some really comfortable shoes. Why? Have you actually seen the movie? No. <laughs> Do you know what it's about? No. I'm just happy that we can sit here and eat chocolate. You're just happy to be eating chocolate. Is involved in like every historic event? No. You seem more interested in that box of chocolates than you do interested in hearing me talk about Forrest Gump. Yeah. You have to eat them to find out. Because <laughs> life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. You never know when you're going to get a bunch of coconut, coconut in the middle. Coconut? Dang it! I thought it was caramel. Caramel? You ever bitten into a chocolate and got something really gross that you didn't want? Yeah, like nuts. Or like some weird jelly. Oh, the gross. <laughs> you actually got jelly. That's gross. Now one issue I do have with the movie Forrest Gump, it is one of my favorites, but if you notice, Forrest like does nothing proactive. Everything that happens to him just happens. He has almost no control over his own fate and destiny. While his girlfriend Jenny tries to take a proactive look, tries to go out and see his life, and everything horrible happens to her. It's almost like the movie is trying to tell you not to be proactive and to just go with the flow of life and wonderful things will happen. I found in my life that when I just let things happen, nothing gets done. Annabelle often does nothing and then nothing <laughs> positive comes out of it. No. I started guitar lessons because I told my mom I want to start guitar lessons. I know how to play Sweet Home Alabama now on the guitar. You know how to play Sweet Home Alabama? Mm -hmm. Where's your guitar? At home. You could have played Sweet Home Alabama in front of where Forrest Gump sat on the bus. You know that movie, that song was actually in the movie, I think. Really? Yeah. Was it? Well, why didn't you tell me? I forgot. What do you think of the Spanish moss here? Well, 
got stuck on my foot like three times. Do you know you don't? You're not supposed to pick it up or touch it because it's full of chiggers. No. Do you know what chiggers are? Yeah. You know Grandma Terry? She doesn't like when people say the word chigger. Hi. Uh, it makes her uncomfortable. How's I want that? one with coconut. Uh, I think that round one has coconut. What are these beans? They're not beans. They're like nuts. That's just like a peanut covered chocolate. Have you tried one of these? That looks yeah. Good. It was what, what I have in my mouth. It's caramel. Really good taste of caramel. Yeah. You never know when you're gonna get a mouth full of caramel. Well, this is like a Milky Way. So you never freaking know what you're gonna get. I wonder if anyone else has ate a box of chocolates in front of James Oglethorpe to simulate the Forrest Gump experience. Yeah, I've heard people some chocolates. They probably think we're weird. You're not, supposed to take, you're not supposed to take candy from strangers. America. What's that dude talk? He just said beer, Jesus, yeah. something in America. <laughs> There's some guy in the park ranting about beer, Jesus, in America. <laughs> Ew. This is gross. Have you ever been to Bubba Gump Shrimp? Uh, yeah. That's based around the whole movie. Hey, true. What? Can't yeah, he owned a Stratus shrimp boat. Huh. That's how he, that's how he got rich. I think. Yeah, he got rich because there was a hurricane and it destroyed all the other shrimp boats and only he could shrimp. And he also invested... Oh, this is an almond. Oh. He all... Okay. It's another layer of chocolate. You never, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know when you're going to bite into it and have another life waiting inside. Literally, this is more like chocolate. life on inside. life. Isn't that, Milk chocolate, dark chocolate. Isn't that kind of poetic in a way? A life wrapped inside of another life. Like yeah, look, the box actually has like like a map telling you what's what. Oh. Ew, cherry cordial. What is that? So, life is like a box of chocolates. You just check under the lid, and then you'll know exactly what you're going to get. <laughs> Read the directions first. That's that's the life lesson here. See, I got the coconut one. Now I'm happy. Right here. Coconut? You like, uh, what's the one with the coconut? Mounds. You like mounds? Almond Joy. You like Almond Joy better? Mm -hmm. I like mounds better. It's got the black chocolate. We used to stop at gas stations on the way to, like, um, places. And I would always get Almond Joy and you would get mounds. <laughs> And also get um, cherry fanta. And some pickled, pickled sausages. Boiled peanuts. Boiled peanuts, pickled sausages. I wish we had some boiled peanuts and pickled sausages rather than a box of crappy chocolates. Yeah, this is gross. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so how Spanish moss started its life is this um, this man. He. Um, he was in the army, and we had to take this girl, um, and she, he grabbed a hold of her and took her in the woods, and she ran away, and he kept chasing her, and she ran up a tree, and, um, um, he waited at the bottom, thinking that he would come down, that she would come down. It's kind of a creepy story. Yeah, <laughs> and what she did was she cut her hair off. And she wrapped it around the tree and went down the tree with it, like slid down the tree, yeah, like a fire pole, and um, and ran away like really quietly. And um, he found out that she wasn't there anymore, and the um, and the hair was still there, and it got all gray, and that kept happening. And the people heard the story. And all the girls have heard the story, so now there's Spanish moss everywhere. Oh, all because some creep chased a woman into the woods. Yeah. You know, don't ever go into the woods with a creep. Oops, I did it again. 
All right. We're very good. Appreciate good. appreciate you guys watching. If you want to throw me a few dollars on Patreon, I'll send you postcards while I'm on my journeys. Also, if you'd like to buy a t-shirt, the link's below. If you have time, check out my website, www.carpetbagger.org. And uh, like, subscribe, share all that.